Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. And there's my daughter's dog. This is Grummet. He's a 12 year old Border Collie. He's a tad overweight, but he's really healthy and good. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Um, this is the 3D printed items that I, I had sent to me, and they're made from they're made from good quality ABS plastics, I'm told, and they're from 3D Print RB. Okay, they're an Australian company, and they sent a lovely instruction menu, menu, which I've had a look already because you know I wanted to know what I was actually talking about. And uh, so the reason I bought these is because, look, by the time you buy a 3D printer, work out how to use it, buy all the plastics for it. I don't use it enough to actually warrant a 3D printer. So I'm quite happy to pay somebody to do these jobs. But it's got all the mounting there. And they come, they come with a little 50 amp Anderson plug closure. So when you're not using them, you plug this into your Anderson plug and it stops any hornets or wasps getting in there building mud nests. Okay, and it comes with all the screws and everything else you need. But what I like about it is, you see here, it's got little grooves in it. And those little grooves fit this, fit this cable in there. So once you've got it all in, and that's, that's stainless steel wire, by the way. So once you've got it all in and put together and you use a, a, a silicon sealant between the joints and of course when you screw it to the wall you use a silicon sealant here and if you put these upside down like this like with the plug facing down okay that just goes in there like that these are extremely water resistant you know as long as the water's not going up but when you've got the plug in there And that hole is almost fully closed. Like there's not going to be any wasps or hornets be able to build nests or anything in there. G'day everyone. How you going? Okay, so here we are. This is his shop. We'll go to his main page. Here's his main page. Look, this, this man's into all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can have a look yourself. The uh, His web address is www.3dprint.com rv.com that's real easy and the, and the man's name is Royce and I had a chat with him and he's an absolute gentleman now this is this is his, his, his this is his uh he's designed these these fridge coolers with fans and everything in and um, I'm gonna have a chat to him and see if I can get myself my hands on one or two of those see what they're gonna cost me and uh, we'll, we'll fit them to the ingles inside, inside the uh, trailer and, and see if they actually help uh, keeping them cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to his, uh, the page where these are. And you can see he's even got double ones there, look. And all sorts of stuff. Let's go back to his main page. Here we go. So there's the double one. And he's actually designed and made these, he, and he owns this company, okay, Royce does. And they're not a bad price for what they are, you know, you've got the end clamp and everything. And he even sells genuine Anderson plugs, so that's his store. All right, there we go, look. So I've got one mounted in here, and the other one gets mounted on the ute. But I wanted to show you... Now I'm going to do this. Now I didn't put a screw through the middle. You don't need them. Um, and I'll tell you why. But the Anderson plug is in there very securely. I couldn't use the screws that came with the unit. Uh, which was a pity. But um, after I drilled the appropriate hole out. I put one screw in and it stripped. Uh, the stainless steel wasn't up to the high tensile quality of this um, 
this camper trailer build. That's I mean this is why I bought this camper trailer. It's all high tensile steel and all um, hot dip galvanized when it was made. Anyway, now I want to show you this. I got Ziggy here. Ziggy, can you hold this for a minute? Now, why you don't need that center screw? If you carefully look in here, you can see there's lots of little grooves, same as in this side. And these, like, like I, I only use genuine Andersons, and 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 uh, Royce only used genuine Anderson plugs. Um, so he's an electrical engineer as well. But how these go in, obviously there's a flat bit on there. So they go down like that, okay? And then this lid, the Anderson plug, fits securely in there like that. And this isn't going anywhere, people. You're not going to be able to move this. You're not going to be able to... Um, I mean, you've really got to break the whole thing for it to come out. So I think the um, extra stainless steel bolt he had going through there, and there's a... I have put the nut on there because I was going to use it, but I've decided not to. But he's got the retainer built into the back of it for the bolt already. But you just... So we glued this part, part on with, with Celastic loosely. And then we um, marked all the holes, drilled all the holes. And then this bit here, once you wire it, uh, we drilled a hole and we've got a grommet in it and poke the wire through and once you wire it this just all goes together and this plug cable fits in these grooves and it just all goes together and sandwiches together like this and they are actually designed for genuine Anderson plugs and you can see the middle hole does indeed go all the way through to where this, the bolt's meant to be, but I didn't use it, I just didn't feel like using it. Because I, I, I don't feel it needs it. I, I think I think that's I, I think that's overbuilt the buggery with that bolt going through there. Um yeah, I just don't think we need it. Alright. So like there's no way in the world that's just gonna pull straight out of there like that. No way in the world. Absolute brilliant bit of design. And he's got extra supports here and it can only fit one way. Really impressed with this fitting. Uh, we'll see how it holds up against UV rays. Alright. Keep safe everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.